create your very own sparkling gingerbread character using the brushes you already own in Procreate. This tutorial will show you how. We are going to start with a 3000 by 3000 pixel canvas at 300 dpi. Go to your brushes, calligraphy, monoline, and choose a light um, golden cookie sort of color. Draw a circle, hold your stylus down and touch the um, screen and it'll form a perfect circle. Fill that in. Go to snapping in your move tool and move it to the center. Create a new layer. Go to the actions menu, canvas, turn on the drawing guide and edit it. We're gonna go to symmetry, hit done. And with your new layer, you're gonna draw the body. Symmetry is going to mirror what you do on one side onto the other side, and this will give him a unified look. We're gonna give him a fun little body here, and um, make sure your shape is closed under his head. Drag and drop to fill in. I'm actually going to make his head much bigger. You may need to adjust sizes after you draw. We're going to pinch and merge those two layers. And then I'm going to center him a little better in the canvas. Now we're going to add another new layer above the body. Tap Drawing Assist, and we're gonna draw the eyes and mouth and decorations. I'm going to give mine black eyes. We're still using the monoline brush. I wanna play with the size till you get something that you like. I'm gonna go a tiny bit bigger yet. And I'm going to do a red mouth. I'm going to choose white. If you double tap anywhere near white, it will snap to pure white. And I'm just going to draw some elements of icing. I want to add some highlights, so I'm going to go even smaller with my brush. And I'm just going to draw a little line here and something in the middle of the mouth, actually. Like that. Now I'm gonna make a new layer, no drawing assist, and I'm gonna add some buttons. I'm gonna choose a green color, still on the model line brush, a little bit larger. and just tap them down the center. You can choose to add some highlights to these as well.
Now we're going to add a little bit of texture and shading. Go back to your body layer, tap the plus to add a layer above, tap it again, we're going to choose clipping mask. So anything we do will be clipped to the body, but it's not going to edit this actual body layer so we can delete it if we don't like it. Um, it won't ruin what we've already done. We're going to go to the materials section and we're going to choose the noise brush. I'm going to choose a color um, a little bit darker than the body of the cookie. And we're just going to lightly shade just to give them some shadow, but also you know how the edges of cookies are sometimes maybe a little bit burnt or crispy. Whatever you think looks good for your design. But I like to do this. And I love the texture this noise brush gives. I just think it really adds to this piece. Now I'm going to go back to this body layer and go a tiny bit lighter and just gently add some light shading to the middle. Play around with whatever you think feels good or looks good for your piece. Next, we're gonna go ahead and clip the icing, eyes, mouth, those elements. Tap clipping mask and clip it to this body layer so that we can add a background color. You can choose whatever you want. I've been really liking sort of green colors teal-ish. That looks good. You can go ahead and tap your drawing assist layers and turn off drawing assist and then go to the actions menu and turn off the drawing guide to get rid of that line if you if it bothers you. Now we're ready to add our sparkles in the background. Once you are sure you're satisfied with this look, I want you to tap the body layer and then swipe to the right on all of these layers here. We're gonna group, tap, and flatten so that it's one image. You can also pinch them all together. That flattens everything into one layer as well. Add a new layer, move it below the body, brushes, luminance, light pen. And I'm gonna choose a really light, kind of whitish yellow here. And you're just going to tap a few spots. And you can change the size. The harder you press, the bigger some of it will be as well. Don't fill it in too much because we're going to make a new layer, move it below, and in this new layer, we're going to add more. Just make sure you're sort of varying the density of these sparkles. It gives it more dimension. Add a new layer, move it below, and we're gonna do this one more time. So on this one, make sure you fill in everything that you wanted 
to fill in. Next, go to your layers. You are going to go to the body layer, swipe left and duplicate it until there are three. Then you're gonna move the first sparkle layer under the first body, the second sparkle layer under the next, and then you have the third sparkle layer under that. Next, we're going to group these in sections. So select your top body layer, swipe right on the sparkle layer below to select it and hit group. Do the same with all the next ones. I wanna repeat this because the more you have layer-wise, the longer your animation will be. So I'm going to swipe left on the top, hit duplicate, and bring it below everything else. Go to the second one, swipe left, duplicate, bring it all the way below. And the same thing with the third. And what you can do is you can keep going as for as many layers as you were canvas will allow. So um, I'm gonna stop there for now. Next, you're gonna go to the actions menu, which is the wrench. You're gonna share, and I'm gonna choose animated MP4. That's a file that can transfer well through email or Instagram. And as you see, it's pretty crazy. So you wanna change the frames per second. Maybe you want it that way. Um, I think I, like it around five frames per second you can of course go lower and it'll be really slow um, changing the animation or you can make it really really fast and then you'll hit export after you export it you can email it to yourself upload it as an Instagram reel with holiday music, or send it to a friend to brighten their day. Check out my Skillshare class linked below for more tutorials. You can also visit my website for free brushes and fonts for Procreate. Thanks for checking this out. Happy holidays.